Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Dave Moore here. Just wanted to make a video on some Raven concealment products that I got. Um, awesome products, and uh, I've known about them for a while, but I never really knew what they were. I always see it on their site and just kind of go over it and say forget about it. But I finally looked into it, read it, and uh, found out that they are some awesome products, um, especially the one. The product I'm talking about is the Raven Concealment Module Loader. Now what the Raven Concealment Module Loader is, is it is a belt system that is designed for the high speed gear tacos, as in the most versatile mag pouches on the market is the taco right now. And I know most of you know what a taco is. <clears throat> This is the taco. This is actually the X2RP taco, as in two AR mags and one pistol mag. But let me uh, pull them out here. That's a taco. Got your Molly system on the back. Got the pull string to tighten it up. But the taco is ultimately this, All right? So you have your taco, you're putting them on your, your plate carrier, chest rig, whatever, however you want to carry them, but a lot of people want to put them on their belt. Well, these Molly clips aren't exactly belt friendly, as in you put it on the belt and it's just wobbly. So what do you do? Well, the modulator helps you out with that. The modulator is ultimately just a polymer framed product, three belt loops, but it's designed for the high speed gear international tacos. What it is, it's got these fingers, these three fingers, and they just go down in, into the molly web. And you can adjust them higher or lower depending on how you want them. But it's pretty much just a framing system for your high speed gear tacos. Tacos I ha have on this one are for doing some AR work. You got an AR mag with the pistol mag attached to it. I got two of those. Now, they come in, I believe, two, three, four, or five finger designs. What the fingers are are the individual slots that go into these tacos. A pistol taco takes one finger and a AR taco takes two fingers and you leave one finger in between each taco. So if you want to run two AR mag size tacos like this, you need a five finger modulator. Two for the one taco, one in the middle space, and two for the other one, five. If you want a three pistol taco modulator, you're going to need a five finger system, one for one taco, one for a space, one for the other taco, one for a space, one for the third taco. Now you can just get the three finger system if you just want to run two tacos, but I figured I'm going to get five and if I want to only put two on it, whatever, I can do that, but chances are if I'm carrying these uh, high, high speed gear tacos, I'm going to want three of them, especially if I'm doing a lot of handgun work at the range. Instead of putting that spare one in a dump pouch or my pocket, I can just have it there. Now, this isn't exactly the ideal concealed carrier rig, being that it's a little bulky. And actually, I'll put it on here in a second. But it's perfect for going to the range. It's perfect for doing classes. Um, just one you know, thing I can say is if you're going to use these at the range or for classes, make sure it somehow transfers into what you carry concealed. So. If you only carry one taco as a spare for conceal, it'll work out fine. But if you carry, like me, Raven Concealment mag carriers, then you use these at the range or something, you just got to make sure that it kind of has the same transfer of skill. Um, I'm kind of looking into now starting to carry these tacos just because I like them. I like the design of them. Uh, like the Molly for me, it's kind of a pain in the ass, especially when you're weaving it, like on a plate here to carry or something. But I'm starting to like these more and more. They have a nice tight fit. You can put multiple things in them. You can put 
and take out one of these mags. And now, you know, you got a flashlight carrier, right? Flip it out. You can even get it to fit in there. Stand by. The other way. The other way is a little too tight of a fit, but put it in there. Button first. Just make sure it's not going off. Now you got a mag carrier. So you can have, or a light carrier. So now you can have two mags and a light. Which, two mags and a light? That's actually a pretty good rig. That might be a good concealed carry rig. Matter of fact, I'm going to put this on so you guys can see. I'll put them both on. But that can be pretty good. You just you gotta understand. Now, okay, let me just start this. If you're using gear, you need to train with it. So, yeah, a lot of you might think that this is a bad idea. And I just thought of it. If you're doing attack reload, you might grab that, that flashlight out of there. Just, you just gotta be aware of that. You just gotta be cognitive of it. And, yeah, I know you might want to leave a bad comment that says that's stupid, but you know what? To each their own. If you don't like it, you don't gotta do it. So, think of how you want to set it up. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to actually use, I'm going to put this back in my pocket and I'm going to use my uh, Surefire G2X tactical light for this. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and uh, I'm going to put on this, this uh, modulator here. Matter of fact, I might put on the rifle one just so it's a little bigger you can see it better. But uh, stick with me. All right, guys, so I put on the Raven Concealment Modulator. And as you can see, this goes right on your belt. Got my two pit pistol mags here and my two rifle mags here. Now, these mags are fully loaded, and I will say it is heavy. I mean, if, you're, if you do a lot of running around, you're going to feel this. It's, it's weighty. Let me just say that. It's, it's weighty. So, you're at the range and you're running full mags, full handgun mags, and you're running full a AR mags. You're going to feel the weight on your belt. And uh, trust me, because I can feel it right now. So, it is a little weighty. Now, actually, I have these mounted in the middle of the taco. I might actually, once uh, I'm done with this, go ahead and mount them at the top portion, drop them down a little lower, and kind of drop the weight down a little more. Because you can feel this weight. It is pretty heavy. So, one thing to think of is, you know, what tacos you're going to put on these. So I can tell you, if you go and you're doing a lot of moving, this is going to bounce around a lot. And it doesn't matter how tight your belt is, how, how stiff your belt is, it's still going to have some movement. And you have to practice off it. Now if you're doing reloads, you got to be able to, to grab that handgun mag. I don't even know if you can see, see me in the frame with this. But you, you're going to be able to need to grab the handgun mag for that reload. So you got to train with it. It's not one of those things that you just get and you use. So, I mean, you just got to gotta train with it. You got to try it out. Switch the camera angle so you can see it. So as you can see, it's I mean it's got some wobble. So that's why I'm gonna drop it down a little bit lower, give it a deeper pocket. But it's got it's got some wobble. But I got this rig if I'm doing some AR and if I'm doing some handgun, I can have AR mags and pistol mags on me without wearing a plate carrier or chest rig or something. So it's a good setup, but it is heavy. I mean, loaded mags. It's heavy. But I feel if I change the setup and I drop it down a little bit lower, it'll uh, it'll work out a little bit better. So, go ahead and change your uh, your view. Back up. So, that's the uh, high speed gear taco, or. Uh, well, the high speed you're talking about, the Raven Concealment Modulator. And uh, I'll give you another close up here. 
I, I was going to put this one on with the flashlight, but I know someone out there is going to bitch and moan. And uh, they're going to say, well, why, uh, why are you doing that? Why, why do you put, put those parts in your Glock? Why do you, uh, you, you put a flashlight here, you're going to screw up, and you're going to grab the flashlight instead of the magazine. So whatever you do with these, just do them. Uh, train with them. Make sure you're uh, good with it. Because I know if I put a flashlight in here, somebody's going to comment, oh, that's dumb, you shouldn't do that. You're going to grab the mag, or the flashlight instead of the magazine. You're an idiot. So to each their own. Put whatever you want in it. Right now I got th three mags in it, but you can use it for a light. You can use it for a baton. If you're licensed to carry that, you're trained to carry that, and you're allowed to carry that, that's not up to me. But I mean, anything that'll fit in a mag pouch sized object, you can you can put in there. And like I said, flashlight. You got a knife you can put in there. Put a comb in there. Put your uh, your vape mod in there. You can put anything really. So possibilities are endless. But moral of the story is this frame. It's this modulator frame. Three belt loops, fingers, solid hardware system. It's just, I mean, it's awesome. So that's it, really. Uh, there is one other thing that I want to show off. I'm actually uh, put this modulator on now to get the feel of the weight and uh, just stick with me one more time.